I love the web. I just love some parts more than others. Not every website is a masterpiece of design and functionality. You know, some can be clunky, some confusing, some are almost perfect, but they lack that certain special something that could really take them to the next level. But did you know that you can use extensions to fix all of that? It's true. Whether you're an expert developer or just someone who's always looking to make life a little bit easier, Chrome extensions can be a huge upgrade to the time you spend online. Today, we're going to explore just a few of the near endless ways that you can use them to transform your browsing experience. Let's talk about how you can unclunk those clunkers, clarify that confusion, and find that missing special something, all with Chrome extensions. Take this form, for example. It's got a million fields, the font is tiny, and it takes forever to fill out. It's bad enough having to do it once, but can you imagine having to use these forms all the time? It'd be great if there was some way to streamline this entire process. Guess what? There is. Extensions like Lightning Autofill extend and improve Chrome's built-in autofill functionality. Beyond saved credit cards and addresses, you can autofill any input or dropdown. They do this by injecting their own custom scripts via the content script section of their manifest JSON file. Beyond the scripts they supply, you can build your own extensions that lets users declare their own custom values. Custom scripting means that they can supply templated values, so any autofilled values don't have to be static. They can intelligently detect and react to the contents of the page. And with the Chrome Storage API, autofilled extensions can automatically pull in data that you save after the first setup. Once you configure what, where, and when to autofill, Chrome can remember it forever, or at least until you tell it to forget it. And one of my favorite APIs has got to be the Chrome Storage Sync API. With it, extensions can directly integrate that saved data with Chrome's data and profile syncing infrastructure. So saving an extension settings on one device means it's automatically available on all Chrome devices that account's logged into. You know, if there's one thing that breaks my concentration more than long, endless forms, it's got to be ugly websites. I don't know about you, but I live in dark mode. Unfortunately, many websites still haven't embraced the dark side, at least where their CSS is concerned. Luckily, extensions give us a ton of options to fix this, whether it be injecting our own static CSS file with content scripts, dynamically adding something with the Chrome scripting insert CSS API, or any other number of options. Extensions let you instantly add a sleek, eye-friendly dark theme to any website. That's just the beginning, though. A more advanced option would be doing what extensions like Dark Reader does. With more complex scripting and in-page style detection, extensions can automatically generate custom scripting and styles for each and every website you visit, saving your eyes from adjusting to blinding white pages. Customizing CSS isn't just for custom theming, though. Beyond colors, a lot of developers use the same APIs to adjust fonts to their liking all across the web. But if that sounds interesting, can I make a suggestion? Extensions also have the criminally underused Chrome Font Settings API. This one lets you replace an entire font family with your own choosing anywhere in the browser. So if you're ever having to struggle with a website not designed for your locale, you can make Chrome load a beautiful, well-designed font that actually complement your language. Neurodiverse folks can swap in hard to parse fonts for the ones that best suit them. With extensions like Advanced Font Settings, you can try it out right now to see what I mean. Maybe you're like me, though, and you're more of an audiobooks count as a book sort of person. If so, I'd rather listen to a lot of websites than actually read them. I love extensions like Read Aloud that can read back any website you're on. It's built using the Chrome TTS API, which lets extensions read out any string with a default voice for whatever operating system the user's on. Don't like what that voice sounds like? No problem. You can configure it to use any number of supported voices. Not only that, but the separate Chrome TTS Engine API lets you build and declare your very own custom voice. With that API, extensions get events for each and every utterance that Chrome is trying to synthesize for the user. It's some really deep customization. But enough about content. What about trying to improve productivity? With extensions like Stay Focused, you can monitor and track your own browsing habits. You can even set limits on what you want to allow yourself to spend time on in case there really can be too much of a good thing. They have some really neat functionality built on top of the Chrome Action APIs in order to give you a live countdown of how much time you have left on pages before you get blocked. And if you want to block sites in your own extension, then Chrome Declarative Net Request, or DNR, lets you do just that. As I'm sure you can guess, this lets you block declarative, static lists of sites that you know you're never going to want to load any content from. But that's not all. DNR also lets you declare 
add, and remove dynamic roles that you generate at runtime. That means that it really is just that much easier to block the latest distraction while you're trying to get some work done. As you can see, Chrome extensions are like magic wands for the browser. They can transform even the most frustrating websites into user-friendly experiences. There are thousands of extensions out there, each offering their own unique feature and functionality. So explore the Chrome Web Store, experiment, and discover the extension that best suits your needs. Really is just the tip of the iceberg. The fact is, with extensions, you can make the browser your browser. Try out some new extensions today. And until next time, happy browsing.